This is Carlo with Biggest Little Adventures. Uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about was communication systems, okay? I just talked about uh, my review of the uh, Tourtex uh, Adventural Modular Helmet. Um, and I'm not transferring over my communication to this helmet. So in that search, I did a lot of research on upgrading. This is uh, Cena SMH. Um, been a good little good little communication system, AM, FM, pairs up to four riders. A lot of my buddies have gone to the 20S, um, which pairs with up to eight riders and has a little bit better speaker system. So I'm sort of the limiting factor. It seems when I go out riding with them, who's ever paired to me can't talk to the rest of the group. Um, you would think that I would just only be able to talk to four people and they would still be able to talk to seven additional, so eight plus with them counted. But it doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know if it's a software thing or if it's just older generation. Um, I use the little boom mic that's just taped here. I haven't had any problems with wind noise in it. Um, but in going to the new helmet, I still want to keep that as a backup or as for another rider. I started researching um, helmet communication systems. So the, the newest one on the market by uh, Senna is the 30K. Now the 30K is nice, uh, pairs with up to 16 riders, okay, which is the most. Uh, it uses a mesh network. Uh, so if you have people spread out, maybe in a, you know, in a line, it could talk maybe up to four, five miles is what they advertise. It is about $296 last time I checked on Revzilla right now. Um, going down one model to the uh, 20S Evo. Uh, the Evo is the, the new 20S. Um, and it's about 269. So for about 30 bucks more, you get mesh network, uh, you get a little bit better frequencies, so less interference, they, they say, um, and you could pair up to 16 riders with that mesh network, which also could extend the range. Because as we all know, <coughs> terrain and vegetation um, come into effect with the, the higher frequency. You're basically talking line of sight uh, for the most part. So uh, the 20S, great helmet, uh, or great communication system, probably the best bang if you're trying to keep your money low. The new 20S Evo uh, pairs seven more riders, so eight with you, 269 versus the new 30K, which is 296. So about $30 more you could get. The speakers, I think, are about the same quality. The, the 20s have much better speakers than the, the 10s. However, what I looked am looking at is the new 10C Pro that is coming out later this month, uh, in late December of 18, early January. Um, the 10C Pro is an update to the 10C. That's the, uh, the communication system that has a built-in tubular camera. It has uh, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is great for motorcycle vlogging. Um, it's, it's, it's running, it's advertised at 349, okay? That's the minimum. Uh, price that manufacturers could advertise for it right now. It pairs up to four riders because once again, it's based on the 10, the, the uh, Senna 10 technology. So four riders or three, including yourself. Um, so as you can see, the 10, four riders, 20, eight riders, 30, up to 16 riders. The neat thing about the 30 is if there's others that join the mesh network, they could, they could listen only, but they can't talk. Only 16 could be actually uh, in the primary sort of uh, two-way talking and listening. Um, but the thing about the 10C, and I've done a lot of reading about the, the, 10C, the 10C Pro. The 10C had some issues, wasn't the best quality camera. Uh, the 10C Pro is a much better camera. Uh, not necessary for still pictures. It's st still only a 3.5 megapixel if you're taking still pictures, but it does record in 1080. 60 frames per second, which is what most YouTube videos uh, will play in. Uh, a lot of the newer like GoPros and stuff will record in 4K, whether that is uh, buffered down to, to play on your mobile device or your laptop. Most laptops aren't 4K. Some of the newer ones coming out are. Uh, so I don't think it's a big deal to have 4K. Image stabilization is what GoPro has really excelled at. You can use some software programs to sort of buffer that out. 
The uh, Tensi Pro does have some image stabilization, but the thing about it that I am leaning towards, I actually ordered a 20S Evo uh, and I sent it back and I'm holding out for the Tensi Pro because uh, I want to start vlogging to you guys as well. And the camera is always there, okay? I mean, you have a lens so it doesn't get bugs on it, but uh, it's always on your helmet. It's integrated in your communication system. So you have about two hours of record time, about 17 hours of listen talk time. Um, but it can charge on the go. So as you're using it, you could be charging it. So a lot of people will get, you know, just little uh, small battery banks and they'll put their little USB so they could be charging it, you know, and extend it for, you know, another day's day of riding or so. Um, but it's always on. So unlike a GoPro that, you know, the batteries run out if it's on standby or you're just recording a lot. If you're recording in 4K, you know, you're going through memory cards like crazy. Um, so the Senna is always on and it's always in standby. Well, if you set it, it's always in standby mode. So it's basically always recording and then just looping over itself. Okay. Uh, so there's a camera button. And so you could be riding, listening to music, integrated comm, you know, so you don't have to buy another $180 thing that for your, for your GoPro. Um, so you could use your helmet comm to talk to the Bluetooth, to talk to the GoPro, um, you know, and, and it's now that they're changing models, it doesn't, the, if you had one, it doesn't work with the new one. Um, so integrated com, com, you could, it could also record the music you're listening to. It could also record if you're with another couple riders, it could record their voice if you want it to onto the actual video. I think that's a nice feature. Um, the simplicity of it is you push the button and it starts recording. Okay. So it's always on and looping. The nice feature, if you just tap it once, since it's always recording, it will it will save that the minute previous to you tapping it and the next two additional minutes. So you get a three minute video. So if you know a deer um, runs in front of you or you know a car cuts you off or something, you want to capture that, you will have a high quality video. Under, unlike you know the low quality dash cams that they make for motorcycles that are always recording, but usually can't pick out a license plate. The other nice thing is if you do, you're riding and you see, oh, that's a beautiful mountain vista, you know, you tap the button and it just gives you, you know, three minutes. So the previous previous three minutes or the previous minute and that. And then if you hold it down, it will just continuously record. So it's always there. It's not in your tank bag. The battery's not dead or else you'd know about it because your music wouldn't be playing. Um, so I think it's a good system for simplicity. Are there better cameras? Yes. Um, but it mounts here. The other problem uh, mounting GoPros is just the way that they mount. You know, with modular helmets, um, you can't really mount it on top. So you got to mount it way behind and then you get part of your peak, you know, as you raise your peak up. Uh, you can't mount it in the front because that's where your vent is on a lot of these modular helmets. Um, and then you could always mount it on the side, but then you have this huge wind sail. The Senna is a, is a prism camera basically so it's a tube um, so it's a little bit it still sticks out but not as much as a GoPro on the side um, so for me personally just the convenience of always having it on there being able to always have good audio um, recorded onto your uh, uh, camera as you go so you don't have to have you know like a, uh, a mic to a iPhone or you know phone recording onto a sound program then splice it in the video afterwards like you would on a GoPro. Um, it just makes it much more simple. 1080p, 60 frames a second. That's that's good good video for making like YouTube and, and basic videos that will play well on the internet. Um, you know, if I was making a movie with a million dollar budget, I obviously would be using different cameras. Um, but right now, those are probably the top three helmet comms that you should be looking at. Uh, if you're looking at buying a new one, I would go with the Senna 30K because 30 bucks more, you get some better technology. Uh, it's the latest generation. Uh, it has about the same speaker quality as the 20 uh, Evo, 20S Evo. So you still have good, good, nice, uh, deep uh, bass and, and clear, clear sound. Um, but you get the mesh network and you can pair with more riders. If you're a solo rider, then go with the 20S Evo. They do come in uh, a discounted two pack. So if you want to talk to a pylon behind you, uh, then uh, 
you could do that and it's a little bit discounted than buying two just straight out by themselves. If you want an integrated, if your helmet's capable of having an integrated uh, communication system that actually replaces some of the pads and the battery goes inside in the back, then you're looking at the Senet 10U uh, and they have some different models there uh, depending on uh, which helmet it's for. Um, if you're looking for an external one, like I said, uh, the, the Senet 30K is probably the way to go right now. The 20S Evo, great quality, you're saving 30 bucks, which isn't that, you know, they're, they're starting to discount them now that the new models are out. Um, and then if you want a good integrated uh, camera system that's just easy to use, then I would look at the 10C Pro. You could probably get some discounts on the old 10C, which also has an integrated camera. There was a lot of problems with it, um, but for a good basic camera, it's probably a good deal. You're probably saving $80, $90 by going with the old 10C now that the Pro is coming out. So that's the research that I've been having. If you have anything different or give me your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Carlo with Biggest Little Adventures. Thanks for watching. Just got done riding Black Rock Desert in my tiny little dirt bike. Heading home.